This video presents a reactive walking pattern generator based on nonlinear model predictive control. The first contribution concerns improvement of performance. The first video presents an experiment realized at last CNRS on an HRP2 robot using the walking without thinking method. The results show that maximum forward velocity of 0.1 meters per second can be sent to the controller. No sideways motion is possible using this method. The second video shows the results obtained using the proposed method. In this experiment, the input velocity is sent from a joystick. The maximum velocity sent was 0.3 meters per second. The robot is capable of drastically changing its velocity in a short amount of time. It is also able to combine stepping forwards and sideways which was not possible using the previous method. The step length was greatly improved using a dynamical filter that is computed very quickly owing to our Dynamics Library presented in Humanoids 2014. The walking pattern generator computes the footstep position and orientation simultaneously. The robot is able to keep balance while using all three degrees of freedom of the steps which is a direct effect of applying the dynamical filter. This algorithm runs in real time on the embedded computer in the robot torso. The second contribution concerns obstacle avoidance. To illustrate the results, two experiments were made using the HRP2 robot. In the first setup, the robot is made to move forwards and an obstacle implemented as a circle is placed in its way. The output of the pattern generator is shown at the top right corner of the screen. As the robot reaches the obstacle, the pattern generator begins to compute steps that slide along the linearized constraint. Once the robot is past the obstacle, it continues walking forwards. In the second setup, the robot is made to move along a circle. An obstacle is again placed in its way, thus making the robot stop. The forwards velocity input contradicts the constraint, but the rotational velocity does not. The robot keeps turning in place, following the user input as best it can. Once rotated away from the obstacle, the robot starts moving forwards again. Experiments on the robustness of the controller were performed in simulation. First, the robot is made to walk forwards and a force of 90 Newton is briefly applied to its center of mass. The robot reacts by stepping sideways. In the second simulation, a negative push is applied. The robot does not react instantly, but waits until the next step to stabilize itself, thus avoiding self-collision. Thank you for watching.